This course in a lot of ways is sort of trying to do something new that I haven't seen among the university before where you know they're trying out a new project that has a real application but I think that that's what makes it equally exciting and, and worth coming to and given like a really unique responsibility where you're creating something new um, which I think is a great opportunity especially as an undergrad. We have a group of 40 students and the first challenge that they're asked to solve is how do we work together? How do we really kind of start to integrate all these diverse voices and perspectives to come to, together towards something quite cohesive and exciting and vibrant? The course that I'm teaching right now is Responsive Mobile Environments and that's uh, paired with Building an Atmosphere, a uh, course in the School of Architecture offered by Christina and we're looking at uh, Martian biomes for uh, sustaining plants in remote habitats. I chose to develop uh, this course during my fellowship to think about how we design for outer space and one of the things that was most interesting about that was the ability to teach an interdisciplinary class with students actually studying from different majors was fantastic. I'm very interested in outer space, I'm interested in building, and I'm excited about our future in terms of exploring other planets and new frontiers and why not start in school. I think the most interesting challenge I've encountered in this class is that everyone has a different area of knowledge. I was really drawn to you know, having the opportunity through the IDA program to sort of work with people that were outside of my discipline and find new ways to apply my discipline. I'm figuring out like, you know, lots of problems which I didn't know really existed because I'd never built something before. Actually making a final physical product is a great thing I'm taking away from the course. It's been a very well consulted course by professionals, so it's been really helpful. We've had some really great involvement from people outside the class, uh, a lot of support from the NASA community. We've talked to people who are developing inflatables, uh, we've had somebody from the Jet Propulsion Labs in here, so there's a lot of interest from NASA to improve the education and to, to really be involved. We've also talked to people who are developing commercial plant uh, growth systems. Uh, we've had people give remote lectures from Europe about uh, closed loop ecosystems that are being developed by the European Space Agency. So we had this great opportunity to really interact with the outside world and we're hoping to continue to do that, make the experience not only for the students and for faculty but also for a wider audience. Thank you.